Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Mechanical Dance. This tutorial is going to assume that you have no Mechanical Dance installed on your computer and you've seen perhaps some uh, cool little dancing movies on the web and you thought, oh, well, I wonder how to do that. And the name Mechanical Dance has sort of bounded around in the uh, online chat and you're saying, well, what is this all about? Where do I get started? Uh, if it's something a little bit more advanced, this is not the tutorial for you. This is really just uh, how to get going with this uh, Mickey Mickey Dance. It's a lot of fun, and so just bear with me. Let's get started. Okay, what you want to do is hop over to Google and type in something like Mickey Mickey Dance English. And you'll get a result uh, telling you where Mickey Mickey Dance is now available in English. And there's a link here on the Mickey, Mickey, uh, on the Mickey Fan .com website. So I'm going to click on that. And lo and behold, I get taken to MickeyFan.com. And there's a post on the home page where it'll say head over to download page here. Now I click on that. And we're on the band website. On this point too is Mickey Mickey Dance Multi-Model Edition. That's this particular multi-model edition that we want to use. Um, Mickey Mickey Dance Multi-Model Edition is around about 5 meg and it's a zip file. Uh, if you don't know how to use a zip file, I'd suggest you're probably best searching YouTube for unzip zip file uh, or something like that and do a tutorial so that you know how to uh, extract uh, the compressed files folder from uh, a zip file. But assuming you do um, know how to unzip the file, just uh, click on the link and um, unzip the file. Um, I usually unzip things to my desktop and I just want to get going with things and see this is a good idea. So let's uh, have a look at my desktop and I've got my Mickey Mickey Dance folder that I extracted onto my desktop. And inside there, there's a Mickey Mickey Dance application. Now, we'll double click on that, and lo and behold, we will launch the Mickey Mickey Dance application. And wow, what a user unfriendly interface that is! Um, and where, 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 where is Miku? Where is Hatsune Miku? Um, that had me stumped for oh, a few minutes. Um, a lot more uh, surfing around, looking at forum threads and all the like. And lo and behold, uh, we have a um, part of the interface that's a, this little panel um, that's model manipulation color. Um, if you click the button saying load, we'll um, be taken to a folder with lots and lots of model files. And these model files are .pmd files. Um, if you're not taken there directly, I suggest you navigate through to your Mickey Mickey Dance uh, folder that may be extracted on your desktop or wherever you um, extracted it to. And inside there you'll find user file and then model. And inside there we've got lots and lots of Vocaloid uh, model files. Um, we've got Len, we've got Kato, um, we've got, of course, uh, the star of the show, um, Hatsune Miku. Um, now I'm going to do uh, this tutorial using Hatsune Miku. So when I open them up, these are polygon model files, these PMDs. Um, I think PMD must mean polygon model data. And so if we open up uh, that one, you'll get a confirmation message, and we'll OK that, and ta -da! we've got a Miku on our screen. Now, next problem, or the next uh, obstacle to getting started with uh, Miku Miku Dance was, OK, uh, I see uh, Miku sitting there, how do I move her about? I want her to dance. Um, you know, it wasn't as intuitive as I was hoping. Um, I no, I can select these bones, but actually I couldn't directly manipulate them by dragging around with my mouse. Um, so I got a bit frustrated with that. Soon enough, um, I realised that actually, you know, I can grab a um, node and use some of these uh, um, tools down here. So in the bottom right hand corner, I've got uh, um, these local controls, and if I drag my mouse over those controls, I can move uh, 
Nicole's bones around and, and some of the bones are different than others but that's a, another tutorial for another day. What I wasn't aware of until very recently was there's a sort of master bone here um, between Nicole's legs and if I have that selected um, I am going to use it to make Niku jump uh, up and down. Now everything happens in time and to be dealing with that you've got a timeline on the left hand uh, side of the um, user interface. And we're recording at uh, 30 frames per second so one second is 30 frames and I'm going to make Niku jump up and back down again within one second. Um, so I think she should be at the height of her jump at uh, 15 frames. So I'm just going to click on the top of the timeline to select 15 frames. And I've got this bone between her legs um, selected. And using the Y um, axis, I'm going to, well, not that one, uh, the bottom one of that, I'm going to make Niku jump into the air. Okay, and... She's going to come back down, but I don't want her to just sort of land um, directly down on 30 seconds. Oh, we've uh, we've messed up. What we, we want to do is go back to 15 seconds. Let me go that. Fail. <laughs> we're going to try that again. So it's the bottom Y, and we're going to uh, roll or our mouse with the button left hand button down to get Niku to uh, move and I let go of that. Now every move you make you've got to register it otherwise as what just happened uh, Niku Niku Dance forgets that you've made a move and again there's another obstacle that uh, until you actually click on the register um, it's not going to remember the move you've made. It, it's assuming that uh, you're moving about, you're trying something out, and only by registering and it's saying, Nicky Nicky Dance, remember that, it's important, I want to keep that. Um, so we want Nicky to be landing initially at about 25 frames. Um, so I'm going to do it. Now notice that when Nicky hits the ground, you know, she's the, the ground is solid. Yeah, she doesn't just continue going down on the y axis. So I'm going to actually bring her down into a sort of um, springy, uh, um, taking the weight on her feet uh, uh, moves, although she's lovely and delicate, um, doesn't weigh that much. And I'm going to register that move, and now at 30 frames, I'm going to get her to go back to her original sort of standing passive position. And I'm going to register that. Now, all being well, uh, on the right hand side of the interface, there's a play button. If I click that, she shall hopefully jump up and down now. Yay! Do it again. Hooray! Nicky's jumping. Anyway, I think that's about as much as I want to cover in a getting started uh, tutorial. Uh, so, I hope that's been useful to you, and I hope that, like myself, uh, you'll enjoy getting to know how to use Nicky Nicky Dance and I shall put some more tutorials together as I find out more about how to use this application myself. Cheerio! Bye!